My name is Riku Minamihara. I'm a single 29 year old, and I'm supposed to take over a company. However, I am currently running away from all my responsibilities. I am not like those people. I have people who are expecting my return, things that I need to finish. I'm sure the company is panicking right now, trying to find where I am. I shouldn't think that it's better to not have any responsibilities. I got into a big argument with upper level management. It was all about personal profit. I know it's not acceptable to just run away because I couldn't come to an agreement, but that's how angry I was. As a result, I became homeless. It had been about a week since I had continued this kind of lifestyle, when a woman stood in front of me. Um, when was the last time you ate? Uh, I, uh, yeah. Not too long ago. Oh my gosh, your voice. You definitely haven't eaten enough. Do you want this? I just bought it a second ago. Huh? I have beer, too. You're legal, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Did something happen? You're still young. You even kind of seemed smarter than average. How did you become homeless? I just got tired of the people at work. I see. I hear that about everywhere. Workplace troubles. Everyone only thinks about their own personal profit. They don't consider how I feel. I keep getting put between a rock and a hard place. Would you like to marry my daughter? Why did you reply to his daughter and not mine? Huh, I see. That's pretty common, too. They bully the weakest link in the chain. I sometimes feel like I'm just some kind of... tool. I have a heart, too. Then I just couldn't help myself. I understand. <laughs> Sometimes I want to cry, too. I just didn't want to think about anything, and I took off. I see. I think it's okay. Sometimes it's important to run away. Running away doesn't mean you've lost the fight. She gave me food, beer, and is taking great care of me now. Thank you so much. Um, why are you being so kind to me? Oh, um, I actually have a favor to ask of you. Can you listen to me? Huh? The woman wanted me to listen to her complaint in return for the food and beer. As soon as I said sure, the complaint started pouring out. I know I look like this, but I work as a hostess at a bar. On top of my bland look, I can't even look at my customers in the eye and speak to them. Today, one of my customers even looked at me and said that they had no money to give an ugly woman who couldn't even hold a conversation. <sighs> I know I shouldn't work at a bar. Why don't you quit? Even when I look for a job that I might be good at, I can't find anything. If I give up, then I won't be able to achieve my goals. Goals? <laughs> I want you to pay for the rest. If you come to the store, I might talk to you. Here's my business card. You're gonna say all that and not finish your story? If you're gonna worry about other people, you should try to make your own life better, Mr. Homeless. Thank you for listening to me vent. I learned that it wasn't about the money. It was that she felt bad about making me listen to her complain. When I figured out it was probably because she was being nice, I went to her store the next day. Uh, what? You actually showed up? You don't have to pay. You don't have money, right? Uh, I have money. Just come by the park, same as yesterday. I'll swing by past 12 after work, okay? They won't charge you for anything yet, so go! Uh, I, uh, I have money! What? This is what I get after I come here? <laughs> She's so stupid. He looks like he definitely has money. She could have milked him for money while she had the chance. Uh, so true. She shouldn't be choosing her customers. She's never gonna increase her sales until she stops. <laughs> Is there a reason that she even works at a night bar? She's good at alcohol, but I don't think she's good at her job. I heard that she apparently needs the money to do some kind of surgery for her sister, but she's never gonna make the money at this rate. <laughs> sister? Surgery? Past 12. She showed up to the park just as she promised. 
Sorry to keep you waiting. I must have really surprised you. You wanted to drink with me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Thanks. Let's drink. I have a question. Why do you work at a bar? Uh, because I like alcohol. <laughs> I can drink and make money at the same time. Lucky, right? <laughs> She's not gonna tell me the truth, is she? In return for the beer, I listened to her vent again. But it was all just complaints about her work. She doesn't tell me because that doesn't help her case. I figured it out after she left. And to think that I was happier with this life of nothingness. I'm such an idiot. Stop running away, you moron. The next morning, I went home and got ready for work. I went to my grandfather to apologize for my actions. I apologize for my actions! I kept thinking about why I had to put up with this kind of mess. But it was me who was being too immature, and didn't handle myself like an adult. I didn't even realize how lucky I was. I apologize. It's shameful, and I want to make up for it. Don't disappear without saying anything. You won't get another chance. Yes, sir! I returned to my work, and worked harder than before to make up for the losses. Then, when I had some time after work, I went to a certain bar to look for a certain someone. Uh, whoa, you look sharp! I went back to my work. Uh, wait, you weren't homeless? Yeah, I figured I'd pour the most expensive glass your store had to offer. You didn't have to do that! I kept donating to her because I was drawn to how humble she was. She became number one in sales that month. Congrats on topping the charts! You do realize that you're the only one that picks me, right? It's pretty ridiculous that I become number one just because of you! So, how much do you need for your sister's surgery? Huh? You knew? I overheard people talking about it. So... That's why you've been coming back. <laughs> why? I don't mean anything to you. You do mean a lot to me. If I hadn't met you, I may still be in that park, sulking. I might have really lost myself, but then I noticed that it's okay to work hard and be proud of yourself in order to achieve your goals. This is just the price I had to pay. Yeah, that's really expensive tuition. It's more than enough for me and my sister's surgery. What do you want me to do with the extra money? Uh, do you want it back? Not at all. Come live with me with that money. After you save up the money for the surgery, you're gonna quit anyway, right? It would be a shame that I won't be able to drink with you after you're able to pay for the surgery. It can be after your sister is out of surgery. Let's live together. Uh, I love you. Gia's sister was able to receive the surgery she needed and is headed towards recovery. Her family thanked me profusely, and gave me their blessing to marry Chie. I was really expecting a stern talk from your father. That went surprisingly well. <laughs> You're going to be a CEO and you saved my sister's life. I don't think anyone in their right mind would stop that kind of man for their daughter. I came up with over 100 reasons why I want to marry you, but I didn't even have a chance to talk about it. <laughs> you can tell me later. Maybe over some beer tonight? My name is Riku Nukumizu. I don't know if it's related to my family or what, but we all love hot springs. One of my favorite hobbies is to go to cheap hot springs. There's a favorite nearby that lets you read manga, and you're able to enjoy all of it while bedrock bathing. Oh, hey Nukazima. Are you alone? I was enjoying my time when I stumbled across Miss Hikawa. Oh my gosh! Miss Hikawa is sitting next to me! She's known as the hottest girl at the office. So much that none of the men are able to even talk to her. Oh, yes, uh, how about you? Her in the sauna outfit is too beautiful. I am alone too. I like to go to the hot springs to unwind on the weekends, so I like coming to hot springs. This is actually one of my favorites. Really? Mine as well. I love hot springs. This place has manga, so I'm able to stay here for hours. Me too! It's crazy that they have so much for free! I've been coming here ever since I found this place! Whoa! I don't like hot places, so I thought I'd never see the day that I could go to the sauna, but I get distracted by manga so much I'm able to stay forever! The sweat makes me detox and I'm able to enjoy myself and get pretty in the process and... I'm talking too much. I'm sorry. 
No, it's all right. I didn't know you cared about your looks. <sighs> I'm just a quiet introvert. I can't really speak to a lot of the people at work. I haven't seen her with other women either. She must not be good at communicating. So, um, Mr. Nukazimu, what are you reading? I'm reading Hell Teacher Nube. I found it once at a waiting room for a hospital, but I never got around to reading it, so... I know that feeling. I read a book somewhere else when I was young and finished it here. What are you reading? I'm reading the Hellish Homoda. I actually like the monster ones, so I read Noob before. Really? What about the cousin of the haunted rag? Of course. I like the Montress Dentist. That one is great! What do you like recently? Something that's still being published would be the Natsume Friend Diaries. Do you read young girl mangas? I do! I like the sweet cutesy ones. I honestly read anything though. <laughs> Me too. This was a different person than from what I see in the office. She speaks so much and I never thought we'd get along so well. <sighs> I wish we could talk more. How about dinner? My sister works at the restaurant here and we can order the secret dish. Huh? Secret dish? Shh, it's a secret. After changing, I was spoken to by a woman while waiting for Miss Ikawa. Mr. Nukuzimu? Uh, yes. Hello. Thank you for getting along with my sister. Wait, you're her sister? Yes. I was told that my sister would be bringing a friend by to eat the secret menu. I heard that you were in the same office as her. <laughs> my sister always came alone, so I was worried that she didn't have any friends or boyfriends. <sighs> I'm glad. Please take good care of her. I see. She doesn't have a boyfriend. How is this? It's provided for free by restaurants for the employees only. It's delicious! Thank you for hanging out with me today. I really had a lot of fun. Oh, come on. I want to thank you. I can't live without anime or manga, so I'm glad I have someone to talk to about it. <sighs> I also like the monster mangas, so I couldn't really talk to my friends. I always am alone, and then everyone at work doesn't talk to me. I always wondered if I was a monster. I don't think it's because you're quiet. I think it's because you're too pretty for anyone to talk to you. Wait, you didn't think I was introverted and antisocial? Of course not! I was definitely nervous speaking to you because you're incredibly beautiful. Now that I know you like manga like me, I can tell you're just another fun person like me. Okay, well, would you like to come read manga next week too? If you don't mind? Of course! I'm planning on coming back this week, so let's! Next week, we showed up, just as promised. I've been reading things on the manga apps, and so I like to read the classics here. Ah, uh, me too! Then you end up finding something you really like. Do you have something that you recommend? <sighs> I figured that Nukuzima would ask me that question. I can't pick something that he would finish too quickly, so I need something that has a decent amount to read. But if it's too slow, then he might get bored, so I need to pick one that has a fast pace to it. I guess Panda x Panda or Ori Harukan would be good, but I'm sure he would have already read those. Maybe I should go with young girl mangas? Make him think that maybe he's having feelings for me when he's reading about that stuff? Miss Akawa, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you confused. Oh, uh, I just have so many things I want to recommend. I can tell she's really thinking about what to recommend. She's such an otaku, which is nice. Oh, uh, there's a lot of mangas that can make your heart skip a beat, but probably not TL manga. He might take it the wrong way if there's something that has kissing or even more. Probably something that's easy at first. Uh, how about Chiba Yaburu? Oh, I like that. I own all the books. Shit. Oh, that was a terrible recommendation. I'm sorry. I thought I was pretty good at this, but apparently I have no clue what I'm saying. I never had friends, so I didn't know how to handle it. It's all right. I should try reading it over, actually. It's been so long. Oh, are you one of the boys that show up in the young girl mangas? I love it. What are you reading today? Hmm, I thought of something. Hmm, what is it? It's a book called Love is Hard on the Otaku. Oh, I like that book. It's a great movie, too. I was hoping that if they ever released the live action film, I could go with you. Okay, uh, how about Princess Kaguya Final Confession? Oh, that sounds great! Let's go see it! Oh, I want him to confess his love to me. Just invited me to the movies. That's gotta be a good thing, right? Should I ask her out? The hot spring is where you can be honest to yourself. 
My grandpa said that friends you make at the hot springs are lifelong. Maybe he's not that far off. My name is Mizuki Aizawa. There's a coworker that really likes to compete with me at work. Mr. Aizawa! The boss is planning to make a push for you to be the next project manager. Great, huh? Oh, really? Really? <laughs> Don't act like you didn't bend over backwards to get on the project. I mean, I was asked to get the project ready for him, so... Okay, sure. You're great at kissing his ass, aren't you? But you do realize that it's annoying to have someone who's got no talent or skills trying to lead you, right? I would never be that kind of boss. I will do my best to be above you. He is my coworker, want to say. We're both 28 years old. Our boss likes me, so he's trying really hard to promote me. But want to say, doesn't like it at all. Sometimes he pushes work onto me. Mr. Aizawa, take care of this, will you? All of this? I have a very important business conference to attend, so I don't have time. This is easy for someone who is as skilled as you, right? Sometimes he blames me for his mistakes. What to say? What is this? It's all wrong! I just did this exactly as I was told by Azawa. He probably told me the wrong thing. What? I don't know what you're talking about! Sometimes, he tries to steal my credit. I actually suggested the whole thing to Aizawa. And then, Aizawa kind of summarized it? I mean... He's good at the grunt work, but actually designing things? <laughs> Look at him, lying through his teeth again. Excuse me, Mr. Watase? I think you're an excellent worker, but you really need to knock it off. You don't have to step on me and kick me down to bring yourself up. I see. Look at you, all high and mighty. How? I just think it's a waste of time and energy for you. Hmm. <laughs> what the hell do you know about anything? Wadasi and I will probably never get along, as long as we work in the same department. Eventually, I just gave up. But one day, Wadasi came up to me and dropped a bomb. Yo, Aizawa, hear me out. I screwed your girlfriend. She's this terribly ugly older lady, so it's a one-and-done deal, though. <laughs> what? I wanted to see your face in pain! It sucks, doesn't it? But I'm suffering more by being in the same department as you! Wait, you're serious? You don't believe me? Why don't you try calling her? Uh... Yeah, about that, I don't have a girlfriend, so who did you, you know, what? What, what, what? You do have a girlfriend? I saw you eating lunch with her the other day. What? I had lunch with the boss's daughter the other day. Boss's daughter? You're dating the boss's daughter? No. I'm telling you, I don't have a girlfriend. The other day he invited me to his house for dinner, but I forgot my business card holder and his daughter came to deliver it to me. And then, as a thank you, I bought her lunch. But I'm not interested in her like that. Are you okay? You didn't actually do anything with the boss's daughter, did you? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Yeah. That's a pretty, oh shit, appropriate situation. It's your fault for throwing me off in the wrong direction! Yeah, that's not my fault either. Wadase was called up to the manager's office. Wadase, I've been informed that you're dating my daughter. 
Uh, uh, yeah. Why did you bring me? If I'm going to get hit, I'm going to take him with me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only person who's going to get smacked is you. I don't understand, but uh, since Azawa is here, I'll ask him. Is he dating my daughter? Did you know about this? Uh, I heard from Mr. Watase that they went out on a date yesterday. What the hell? You should probably be loyal and go through with all of it at this point. I didn't know that my daughter was your kind of girl. Uh, no. My type is more fat. Oh! He kept telling me about how happy he is to have such a lovely and calm girl. Great! She told me about it. She wanted me to ask you to date her with marriage in mind. So I'd like to formally invite you for dinner. J sure By the way, what did you like about my daughter? I liked how calm she was. Damn it, dude! What have you gotten me into? What are you talking about? I'm actually dating the boss's daughter now! I mean, the daughter already informed him. What else are you gonna do? Do you really want to tell him that she's not your type? He's gonna tear you a new one. It's pretty normal for two people to not get along after dating and split up, right? If you're not interested in her, then just break up with her. I'm sure she won't be as hurt. I've talked to her before, so I wouldn't want you to do anything to hurt her. Damn it. Screw this company. You're gonna quit? You're gonna drop everything and leave? From his daughter? From me? Wanna say? Couldn't quit his job. He continued dating the boss's daughter. The boss and his wife were overjoyed because she had never found someone to date. The two eventually got married. That's crazy. I didn't know that Watase would marry the boss's daughter. I heard he did his best to date her, all to get on the boss's good side. I don't think so. Mr. Watase is actually really in love with the boss's daughter. I always wondered, why are you always dealing with Watase's crap? He's ambitious and also a little childish, but he works really hard, and he just wants to climb the corporate ladder. That makes him really competitive. It's a little childish, but I think if you make him an ally, he could be someone who's always in your corner. If Watase had left the boss's daughter and the company, he probably would have been dead in the water. Maybe this is a chance to turn everything around. I was spot on. After about half a year of being married, he was much calmer than before. Mr. Aizawa, would you like to go for some drinks? Huh? Oh, sure. Mr. Aizawa, do you think I've changed? I think so. You've really calmed down. You don't even really tease me anymore. <sighs> I'm sorry about all of that. My wife told me that I need to stop being so competitive all the time. There's no point in comparing yourself to someone else all the time. You're your own worst enemy. You care too much about what other people think of you. You're a great person, so be confident in yourself. She's way too good for me. I'm just glad that I was able to marry her at all. So, I have to thank you. The only reason I was able to marry her at all was because you stopped me from bailing. Thank you. You're welcome. Why don't you have a girlfriend? You're such a good person. Yeah, I'm interested, but... You look great. And your personality is accepted by women everywhere. Which means... Maybe you have a little something that you aren't telling me about your nightlife. What? No! Then you should probably find someone soon. Or all the women will run away, thinking the same thing that I do. Around the same time, the women around the office were fighting for dibs on dating rights with me. 
It was going to be a little bit more before I get married. My name is Riku Okuda. I'm a regular 20-year-old student. Riku! Great job at school today. Let's go on a date. This is my girlfriend, Yuria. We're the same age, but she's raised as royalty. Oh, sure. But where do you want to go? I want to go to the pool. Okay. I need to get swimming suits and whatnot, so maybe next Saturday? I want to go today, right now. You can't just go to the pool like that. Sebes, do you have a swimming suit for Riku? I have a variety of suits for Mr. Riku. Which would you like? What about this? <laughs> it's mostly just strings. Jesus! What the hell do you have for Eddie? I wouldn't pick that! Just give me a regular suit! <laughs> Let's go! Pool! Pool! Yuria, you need to calm down. It's been about half a year since we started dating. Most of our dates are... not normal. I guess we're going to a pool that has some kind of membership? There's no way, it's just a regular pool. <laughs> Let's go swimming! It's a top quality pool in a five-star hotel! And rent it out! <laughs> What's wrong? Let's swim! Oh, uh... okay. Miss Yuria rented out an entire pool because she wanted to go to the pool with me. It was about half a year ago that I came across her. It was raining, and I had to help her. Are you okay? I... I'm sorry. You shouldn't come near me. I feel sick, and I might get you dirty. Are you sick? Don't worry about it. I don't mind if I get dirty. Let's find you a dry place to stay. Hang on! Oh my god. My knight in shining armor. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I'll pay for it, please. Let me take care of it. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm really not bothered. It's okay. Marry me. Apparently. She had ignored her butler's request and went to a drinking party with her college friends. What? She apparently collapsed because she never had a sip of alcohol until her 20th birthday. She was stuck and didn't know what to do. Father, mother, this is the gentleman I was telling you about. Riku Okura. Ah, it's you. Thank you so much for the other night. Please let us repay you. Oh, I really don't need anything. Exactly. We need to do more. I tried to trick Mr. Riku. What? Trick me? I was going to marry him as a way to repay him. No, no, seriously! That's way too much! Oh, Yuria, you've grown so much. I understand. If it's your decision, then I will support you. You make him a happy man. You understand? Uh, why don't we talk about this a little more? I started dating her with marriage as a prerequisite. Yuria's cute and I'm happy to be around her. It's a little tough being around her sometimes, though. I'm hungry. Let's go get food. Oh, sure. I guess we're gonna get food at a top five-star restaurant. I don't know any manners, but hopefully I know enough. I'll have Sebis find a car. We're moving? I am so out of place. Oh, I'm so hungry. Hey, how about we go to a tropical island later? Sure, but where? Hawaii? Dubai? I know a nice, uninhabited island. Uninhabited? Of course you're going to bring your butlers, right? <laughs> nope, just us. Yeah, we're gonna die. Yuri has been this way for all six months that we've been dating. Yuria seems happy to be with me, and I'm having fun too, but... I lost some hair because of stress. Seriously? How do you have any stress dating a rich lady? I can't give anything back. I don't think I've spent a single dime on any of our dates. She's just happy to be around me. I've given her a present, but it's so cheap compared to what she usually uses. Don't you think that you're lucky that you get to date a rich girl? I feel guilty. And I feel like my own sense of money will go out the window too. Then how about you get her to come to your level? 
I see. I've just been going to her because I like her. But maybe she can try experiencing my life. I mustered up my courage and asked her the next day. I can't return anything to you, so I want to take you out on a normal date. Huh? I don't need anything back. Why would I want something in return for someone I want to marry? She's so nice, but I feel like she doesn't have a regular sense of money, so it's tough on me. Yuria, you want to marry me, right? How about we spend a summer together? I want you to understand my normal. I can stay at your house? During the summer, Yuria stayed in my house for the first time, but... Riku, I don't know how to wash my hair. What? Riku, help me change. What? Uh, uh, Riku, this toothbrush doesn't move. How do I brush my teeth? Your toothbrush brushes on its own? Yuri couldn't do anything alone because she was such royalty. But she was having fun being taught how to do things. This is so fun. Oh, where did you buy this? An auction? No, just the local electronics store. I see. You wanted me to understand that this was normal. Yeah. I wish you'd taught me sooner. I'm sorry if I kept pushing my standards onto you. Oh, it's okay. It's not your fault. I should have told you. I was just afraid that maybe you wouldn't like me. You like me enough to where you don't want me to dislike you? Yeah. I won't dislike you. Riku? I want you to show me more of your normal. Really? Of course. I told you I'd take responsibility and make sure you're happy. So tell me what makes you happy. Afterwards, we started going on more normal dates. It was apparently refreshing to her. I was always afraid that I might get scolded by her parents, but... Yuria's finally learning how to cook and clean. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I was worried that sometimes the standard of living would be too low, but... Apparently, if you just talked it out, she would understand. You do know that I was a little worried too, right? It's because I love you that I decided that it was all worth it, and I wanted to understand you better. I have the best girlfriend ever. We are still continuing to date. My name is Mizuki Ninomiya. I'm a system engineer. My boss introduced me to the new hire to teach her. Ninomiya, take care of the new hire here. Her name is Yoshino. I'm Yoshino. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ninomiya. Pleasure is all mine. Ninomiya's a good guy, but he's dating someone in-house, so don't fall for him. <laughs> Oz, what the hell? <laughs> okay, well, let's get started with the workflow. All right. Miss Yoshino is a hard worker and a very likable co-worker. As a system engineer, I need to listen to the client's order and design a system, test run the program, and check to see if there's any bugs. Exactly. After all that, sometimes you'll work with running the system and also working maintenance too. Do you do that as well? I do, quite often. I see. There are probably a lot of clients that trust you. How can I become a trusted engineer like yourself? Hmm. I think an important thing is to be a great communicator. In order to explain the situation, you should make things easy to understand. Usually, if you explain something, the clients will understand regardless of what it is. I'm not very good with communication yet. It's alright. First, start learning how to work with what you're given. Then you'll start to get used to everything. Yes, sir. Thank you. Lunch break. I went to talk to Chica, my girlfriend, to see if she wanted to have lunch with me. Oh, hey, Mizuki. Lunch? Yeah, what about you? Eh, I ate a bit early. By the way, who's the new girl? Is she cute? Yeah, I'm helping her out, but I'm not looking at her like that. I'm dating you. I'm not jealous or anything. I just want you to get along with her. She might quit or something. You're scaring me. Whatever, I'll do what I can. Okay, good luck. Oh, by the way, are you free next Friday? I was hoping to take you out. I can't. I have plans to go out drinking with my friends. I'll let you know when I'm free again. We're pretty busy recently, so we can't really do much together, but because we work in the same office, we're able to see each other often. It's a little boring and dry, but I've been getting along with her well. Work has been going great, and maybe... 
But then... Ninomiya, you screwed up big! Your site is leaking information to other companies! It literally has bugs programmed into it! What? You're lucky I was looking at a test site. If we'd submitted this, we would be in serious trouble. No, sir. I would never do such a thing. What are you saying? Are you saying that the student that's studying is capable of this? That she did this while you weren't looking? That would never happen, but... Whatever. Even if it was her, she's your responsibility. Whoever did it, you're the one that's going to have to deal with it. That's crazy. Let me take a look at the site once. I've already checked it out and reported it to the higher-ups. I wouldn't want you deleting anything, so that's a no-go. What? That's crazy! How is that possible? I heard from the manager. You're really crazy. I didn't do it! Someone had to have framed me! You're going to blame someone else? Seriously? Just admit you did it. Ugh, shameful. What the hell? Don't you trust me? Don't call me Chica. We're done. I knew that I'd be fired, so I put in a formal request to resign before they could fire me. I don't even have the willpower to fight that. Whatever. I give up. Mr. Ninomia? Uh... I don't believe that you did that! Something is wrong! This is so wrong! I'm sorry, Miss Yoshino. But if I start complaining, I'm gonna cause you problems. I could just take the full responsibility and end this, but if I start making a mess, you might even be considered the problem. There's just not enough evidence. Uh... Of course, it wouldn't matter if you do become the target, because I'm gonna have to take responsibility anyway and quit. So I might as well just take the full blame for it. I'm not happy about that at all. It's time to go back. I need to submit paperwork for the next employee's onboarding, and I won't be able to stay here for much longer, so... Why are you doing this? They have no right! I don't care about the reason. I can't cause trouble. I want to finish strong. If I just give up here, then people will think that I'm just a bad person. Day I leave. This is the data for the next employee. The data and manual are all backed up on the USB. Oh, okay. Thanks. Chica. Throw this away. Did he... just say Chica? I'm just gonna get rid of all of this because it's useless. They'll be able to do their job without it. Don't act like you're important. I'm just glad you finally quit. Ah, uh, I see. That makes sense. I knew that these were the two responsible for framing me the second they began to mock me. I guess I became a nuisance when they started dating. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to struggle, but good luck. <laughs> Interesting. Me or this company? I wonder which one is going to struggle and experience hell. Goodbye. What is he talking about? He's just whining because he lost. A week later, I was relaxing, but my ex, Chica, started calling me more often. And so it begins. I'm never going to answer this, though. After I started to block her, the company started calling me from the office phone. I, of course, had no intention of answering. Miss Yoshino called, so I answered her within three rings. Mr. Ninomiya, the company is in a mess! Let me guess. The clients are pissed off because the site is bugging out. A lot of the company regulars are backing out. You knew? Yeah, I expected that. What? Mr. Ninomiya, we have fired the two that framed you, and I want to formally apologize for not investigating the matter further before taking action. I know that it may be asking for too much, but I would like for you to return to the company. We could really use the help for our clients. I don't want to cause trouble for the clients that have stuck with us either. Let's make sure this never happens again. I was paid compensation and allowed to return to work. Mr. Ninomiya, um, manager, I'm so glad you're back. I'm sorry for causing you trouble. Oh, I can't believe that old boss and your ex were the ones responsible. That actually pisses me off. They're trash. But it was because they were so bad that I was able to salvage the situation. 
I was holding back my laughter when they threw away the manual that I typed up. I knew that would happen. True. The complaints came rolling in, and that's when the internal investigation started. But couldn't you have become independent with how smart you are? Why did you come back? I didn't want to leave all of our valuable customers. I also like this company and wouldn't want to cause trouble for all the other employees. Besides, you're here! Uh, Mr. Ninomiya, if you don't mind, can I please take you out for dinner? Huh? You paying? Of course! I want you to listen to me tell you about how happy I am you came back! Huh. Yoshino is pretty cute. I knew that if I just paid attention and worked hard, then something will help you. I will look forward to doing that from now on. I'm Kaito Seda, 27 years old. My company has terrible working conditions. There are only 15 employees, including myself. My company dumps loads of work on us, and we are forced to type in the data endlessly. Days and days of just sitting at my desk, facing a computer, and punching in numbers. None of us have the energy to even have a conversation. That would be 375 yen, please. Um, uh, sir? Uh, huh? Oh. Uh, that was the first time talking to anybody in a long time. Wait, could that even be considered a conversation? No, oh, I'm getting a call from the CEO. What does he want from me? Sir? You called for me? Hey, the system we've been working on, they want us to change the whole thing by the end of this month. I sent the details to your account, so read through it and get it done. What? Uh, all of it? But it took two months to set everything up. We can't finish it on time. Ugh, I'm so sick of your attitude. You haven't even tried. Do you not understand it takes hard work to keep a company running? If you don't have enough time, there's always a way to make it. You can sleep at the office until the end of the month if you need to. You have my permission. Now you won't have to waste time on transportation. You're welcome. Uh, isn't there an inspection office I can complain to? Labor, labor, what was it? I can't remember. I don't have the energy to think. I don't even get paid much, so I don't have any money. No money means I can't quit my job. I am in a rut. Oh, I just want to fall into my bed and sleep for the next 24 hours. Thank you for your purchase. It would be so much better if I had a cute wife or girlfriend waiting for me at home. Huh? That guy? What is he doing there? Um, are you okay? Wait, why doesn't he have any shoes on? Huh? Oh, I think I stepped on something and it cut my foot. Um, it's not that I don't own shoes or anything. It's a little embarrassing. I got in a fight with my father and it got pretty physical. He told me to get the hell out of the house, and I was just really frustrated. So I told him off and ran out the door without shoes on. <laughs> I didn't even realize I was barefoot. I think I left my phone and wallet back at the house, and I forgot how to get back to my place. So, you're lost? I don't think any stores are open at this hour. You can have a pair of my shoes. For real? My place is just around the corner. I was supposed to be home right now, eating my combini bento and getting ready to go to sleep. But I guess I have to put that off for a bit. We should clean the wound and put a bandage around it. I appreciate it. Ah, this will do. Thank you for everything. So, what will you do now? You don't have money or a phone. You're welcome to stay tonight if you need to. No, that would be asking for too much after everything you've done for me. Uh, can I just borrow your phone? I'll call my sister and have her pick me up. Okay, here you go. You know, I was stuck back there. It was late and there was nobody around to ask for help. Do you always come home this late? I know this may sound rude, but you look exhausted and you're pale. Well, yeah, I have uh, to work. Here you go. The company I work for is small, with not many employees, but the CEO assigns us insane amounts of work. Every time we finish a project, there's always a new one waiting for us, a new deadline to meet. We barely have any time to sleep. We literally work all day, but it doesn't show in our time cards because the CEO doesn't want to pay for our overtime. By the time I realized, 
I was spilling out complaints to this guy that I didn't even know. Or maybe it was easier for me to tell him everything because I didn't know him. I apologize for bombarding you with all this. It's been a while since I had a proper conversation with anybody. It's okay. You seem to have a lot on your shoulders. After hearing your story, my problem seems as small as a microorganism. You were saying you got in a fight with your father, right? Yes. My family manages chain restaurants, and my father, the CEO, is an extremely conservative person. His management methods are very old-fashioned, and he wants to keep everything on paper. He doesn't like emails either. He likes to use phone calls. According to him, phone calls are faster and better to connect with people. He won't bend his ways. Huh. But with the methods we are using right now, there are just too many mistakes. Ordering too much food or not ordering enough food. He's set on serving professional menus, so that means more waiting time for the customers. Ah, oh, I see how you could get frustrated. I've done some system development for companies in the food service industry. Oh, that's probably my sister. Uh, hi! I'm sorry for bothering you at such a late time. I heard my brother was here. Hey sis, thanks for coming. Oh, I didn't realize it was raining. Yes, it wasn't when I left the house, so I didn't bring an umbrella. I parked my car in the closest parking lot, but I had to run here because of the rain. I couldn't kick them out, so I invited his little sister into my apartment. I'll bring you a towel so you can dry yourself. I don't have any women's clothes, but you can use my clothes if you'd like. Uh, are you sure? You're so kind. You were talking about system development in the food service industry. Can you tell me more about it? Huh? Uh, sure. All kinds of systems are used by different companies, but they're all basically the same. You can use the system to manage everything that goes on in the company. Food orders and deliveries for starters. How much of what is left, what needs to be ordered, how much of it, and so on. Backups of purchase orders are automatically stored in the system, so there's no need to file any papers. The best thing is that it prevents mistakes, and helps reduce the time spent on unnecessary things. The bigger the company, the more the effect. I see. I've always been curious about these systems. Companies need to start changing since the industry is changing. Everything you said sounds amazing! I think we should try it! Uh, whoa! I'm against my father's old-fashioned ways too. Things have changed over the years, and we need to start adapting ourselves if we want our company to survive. I agree. So, you said you've done some system development before, right? Can I have the name of your company? Or do you have a card? Oh, I don't have a card since I don't meet people, but my company is called Black Techno. Thank you for everything you have done for us tonight. I will repay you for your kindness. I hope I see you again! This was the end of this strange encounter. I enjoyed my time with them. It was a nice break from work hell. After that, I returned to my hectic work schedule. No time to rest, completely sleep deprived, and forced to listen to the endless sound of my typing all day. I don't know how many energy drinks I consumed. Every time I fell asleep, I would hear the clatter of my keyboard in my dreams. However, one day... Hello, I'm Ryoma Otsuka, the managing director. Our company will be working for them starting today. Uh, what?! From now on, you will be working for Oishi Techno. I am looking forward to working with all of you. Major changes were made. They even changed the CEO and added more employees. The work environment improved significantly. Everything was different. So much better. I suggested M&A to the previous CEO and he agreed to it immediately. We will make sure to watch over him from now on so he learns to treat the employees properly. You're doing all of this just because I gave you shoes? Not exactly. Having your guidance has changed us for the better. It's a win-win situation. I'm honored to have professionals like you helping us out. But can I ask you for one favor? It seems my sister, May, has taken a liking to you. She wants to get to know you better. Um, can we start by being friends? <laughs> Th this is so unexpected. Uh, of course, I'd be honored to. I had been roaming around in the dark for a long time. But my hardships are what led me to this moment of joy, and I am thankful for them.
My name is Shotaro Tachibana. I'm a salesman at a food store. I've been working with a buyer from Sakafushi Market. This is the new tofu dish we're producing. Hmm, what makes this stand out from other tofus? I see this sort of thing everywhere. This was produced by someone who went all the way to China to study the best way to cook the tofu. That's true. The instant section has been blowing up recently. People really like the depth at all. Our new product will definitely sell well by riding the wave. I'm back! How was it with Sakafushi? I'll write up the report, but they're interested in buying and stocking all their stores with it. Great job! They're one of the biggest markets out there! The boss practically skipped back to the desk. I'm sure he's excited to be able to land a deal with such a big deal store. Man, I'm starving. I'm gonna get ready for work by refueling now. Mr. Tachibana, you're having a lunchbox again? Her name is Hina Haruna. She's three years younger than me and works in my sales department. She's doing well in the department that often requires you to spend overtime on the weekdays and spend your weekend at events for buyers. She works hard and the effort pays off. Ah, <sighs> that looks so good. This is mine. <laughs> She's a hard worker, but she tends to try to mooch my lunch often. I can tell why she works at a food company. Haruna, why don't we go grab the lunch instead of that crappy lunchbox? There's a members-only restaurant that was recently opened up by the CEO's father's friend. I'll take you at my BMW. Oh, uh, no. Man, Tachibana, is that mommy's lunchbox? You should probably invite these beautiful women out for lunch one of these days. I can't be having my rival be such a loser. His name is Kitagaya and also works in the sales department. He's incredibly competitive, but I don't let it get to me. Whatever. I guess we live in different worlds. It's like I'm staring down at your world. <laughs> you live in a tower mansion, right? Yeah. Why wouldn't I? You guys can probably only dream of living there. Here we go again. Tachibana, how do you put up with that crap? The only reason he invites Hina is because she looks good. Kitagaya is pretty disliked at our office because he always brags about how rich he is. It's a little sad, honestly. Relax, guys. Your lunchboxes always look so good. Oh, I always buy the half-priced ones at the store on my way home. I just arrange it. It saves me a lot of money. Your eggs look so good. Would you like some? Can I? Thank you! And as our daily lives continued on, we were going to have a soccer event. People who wanted to could play at the company's soccer event to bond. Wow, there's quite a few people here. Maybe 40 or 50 people? The weather's so nice. It's a great day to play sports. <laughs> You're terrible, though. Terrible? Yeah, she has no neck for any sport. Hey, that's not true. Relax, it's a company event. The whole thing's about participation. Hina, you're looking to get Tachibana's lunch, right? <laughs> yeah, I worked hard on today's lunch. Oh, hello, Tachibana. Hey, Kitagaya, you gonna play too? And how did you all get here? By car. I drove these two with my compact car. I came alone because I came from a different area. Oh, what kind of car do you drive, by the way? I came with my big car because I have a lot of luggage. I mean, what brand, you moron? Oh, a uh, Range Rover. Huh? Yeah, right. Stop bragging. No, it's right there. Huh? That big car is yours? It looks so cool. Is it foreign? I mean, it is a foreign car, but it's actually a pretty expensive car, isn't it? You just borrowed it, right? No, I own it. Hmm, it's just a car. I live in a tower mansion. You child. It's literally daddy's money. Come on, guys, let's go. The game is starting soon. Tachibana, you seriously own that car? I mean, it's a family car, so it's not just mine. But your family is fairly rich then? Anyway, let's go play. The first match, I ended up on the same team as Kitagaya, and you could tell how unhappy he was. Boss gave him a good stare, and he calmed down. I would've kicked your ass if you were on the other team. I'll just do my best to pull my weight. As soon as the boss blew the whistle to start the game, Tachibana, think fast! Kitagaya kicked the ball as hard as he could to try to embarrass me. It was sudden. <laughs> I reflexively kicked it. Whoa! 
You're super athletic! Right back to Kitagaya. Everyone watched as the soccer ball collided with Kitagaya's face. Everyone saw him when he got smacked in the head and proceeded to collapse onto the ground. You all right? Tachibana, take it easy on him. I'm sorry, I just reacted. You played soccer, right? Your high school went to the state champs. The first round ended and Kitagaya left the field yelling that he would never forgive me. I feel bad. I mean, the game was called, so sure. Oh, I made you lunch for today. Yay! Thank you! <laughs> I've been looking at you as food, but now that I see how athletic you are, I've really reconsidered what I think. I got to see a new side of you. <laughs> food? She really is an odd one. Uh, thanks. <laughs> the afternoon games continued as normal and the tournament came to an end, but... Hey! Tachibana! You alright? Sorry about earlier. You really think I'm going to let you off that easy? You embarrass me in front of Haruna! You literally started it. You're always embarrassing yourself. I want a formal apology! Come to my house to apologize! You're trying to one-up him by bringing him to your house because you couldn't win through sports. What a loser. Shut up! Come to my tower mansion! You understand me?! So we all headed to his tower mansion. Come here! Don't you dare run! Uh, okay. Welcome home, sir. Mr. Tachibana, shall I give you your mail now? Oh, uh... Welcome home to you as well, Mr. Kirigaya. Mr. Tachibana? What the hell is going on? Kirigaya was trying to make me look inferior by taking him to his home, but he ended up embarrassing himself. And now everyone also found something out about me. You live in my tower mansion! Uh, yeah. <laughs> what a coincidence. I've never seen you here. That would most likely be because all floors above 30 have a separate entrance and elevator. I'm on the 8th floor. You... What floor are you on? Mr. Tachibana is the owner of this mansion. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Talk about being shown up. Oh, uh, don't say that. That's private information. My family owns many of the buildings and real estate in the area. I've been able to inherit quite a bit as well. However, my parents and family have been pushing me to become independent and gain my own education. I've learned how to live on my own in society. I'm going home. Kitagaya. Kitagaya went home, so I had my co-workers come up to my room instead. Here's the fried chicken! Wow! That smells excellent! Let me help take it out! Man, I'm impressed by how well you live on your own. He's even feeding his little ducky. They should go out. Freshly cooked is definitely the best. It looks so good! Say ah! We've been getting along no different than before. Kitagaya still won't talk to me, but I decided to leave it alone for a little bit. I hope one day we can make up. My name is Arata Akiziki. I'm 29. I used to be a chef working in Tokyo, but I recently came back to my hometown to become a farmer. Hello, Akiziki Farm. Yo man, it's me. Nako, are you calling for an order? Yeah, send me some veggies. This is Tako Ishida. He was my senior colleague back in Tokyo. He's a head chef at a restaurant owned by a famous entrepreneur. <laughs> you need to be more specific. What exactly do you need? Eh, uh, you pick. You say that every time. It's not cool. You used to be a chef too. Just pick some stuff that would be good to serve at a nice restaurant. Fine. How about seasonal vegetables? Maybe some Swiss chard, artichokes, and red velvet okra? I'll toss in some blue tomatoes too. Uh, you know, I think I had some recently, uh, the blue tomatoes, but everything you said is so showy. We specialize in rare vegetables, Tako. We decided on the number of vegetables and the delivery date. After that, Tako asked me if I was planning to visit Tokyo anytime soon. I told Mr. Onoda, the owner, about you. He thinks you're great and he wants to meet you. Oh, I saw him on TV the other day. Huh, when can you come? When? I'm a farmer. It's not that easy for me to just leave my veggies behind. You know, if he likes you, you might get an exclusive contract. <laughs> give me a date. I'll be there. Okay, I'll let you know when it's decided. I'm a newbie when it comes to managing a business, but I am quite well organized, especially when it comes to money. That's why my business is in the black. I've never had problems paying my credit card bills, so it has never been unpaid. 
I am pretty confident when it comes to managing everything money-wise. <sighs> I gotta work hard to make my business bigger. I want more people to enjoy the vegetables I make. It's been a while. Where's Mr. Onoda? He'll be here after he finishes up his work. He told me we can go ahead and start dinner without him. I followed Tako to our destination. To my surprise, it was a hostess bar. Huh, <sighs> I've never stepped foot inside a hostess bar. Mr. Onoda knows the owner of this place. I'm sure you'll be fine. My name is Sari. I'm looking forward to getting to know you both. Hi guys! I'm Marin, and I'm 21! Mr. Onoda called to tell us he would be arriving late. Why don't we get started? I'm starving! We should ask our guests what they want to drink first. Oh, uh, don't worry about me. Water will be fine. Water? Did you say water? You're joking, right? Um, am I supposed to order alcohol? I don't know how this all works. Sir, would you prefer non-alcoholic drinks? Yes, but I can drink alcohol if I have to. That won't be necessary. We have a variety of non-alcoholic drinks. We want you to enjoy your time here. Thank you. I appreciate your kindness. Oh, I have to order a drink for the hostess too. Uh, Saori, would you like something to... Hey, you over there. Is this the first time coming to a place like this? This is an executive club, sir? You might want to cover the basics before coming here. I, uh, I apologize. And about that outdated business suit? You don't have the money to buy a new one, do you? Marin, that is no way to talk to a customer! Well, I don't usually wear business suits when I work. Oh, I can tell. I can tell how financially stable a man is just by looking at his business suit. I've had a love for vegetables ever since I was young. Some people called me weird, but I still feel the same even after I've grown up. That's why I used the money I made in Tokyo to start a business to grow and sell unique vegetables. That's all that mattered to me. <laughs> Please accept my sincere apologies. I feel awful. Uh, I'm embarrassed. I'm an adult. I should at least try to maintain a decent appearance. Excuse me, Mr. Onoda has arrived just now. Just then, Mr. Onoda came through the door. Swishing away the awkward vibe that was lingering in the room. It's nice to finally meet you. I've heard a lot of great things about you, Mr. Akizuki. Oh, you're flattering me. I'm just an ordinary farmer. <laughs> I apologize for arriving so late. Oh no, you're not late at all. We were just early. Mr. Onoda, please don't tell me you're friends with this person. Not yet, but I am looking forward to getting to know him. He doesn't look like anybody that would do you any good, Mr. Onoda. There's no class in the way he talks. And his suit is old-fashioned. Plus, he's a farmer. I mean, look. He has a fake brand watch on his wrist. It's pathetic. <laughs> Mr. Akizuki, we remove Marin from her seat immediately. Marin, what are you trying to say? This is an executive club? Both the hostess and the customer should be worthy of being here. I don't want to sit at the same table with a customer like him. His watch? The real brand doesn't have that watch in that color, so it proves that it's fake. Hey, what is wrong with you? You're so rude. It's pissing me off. I treasure my job. It's my life. I don't want poor people bringing down the quality of the bar. Lauren, our job is to do our best to have our customers enjoy our company. Financial status? Being rich? None of that matters! What?! You gotta be kidding! How will they give us any money if they don't have any?! Well then, Marin. How about you guess how much Mr. Akizuki and I make every year? I apologize. I had a little research done before meeting you. Uh, oh Mr. Onoda, we all know how famous you are. There's no way he makes more than you. Why don't you give it a little thought? I'll order some champagne if you get it right. Do you promise? Yes. But if you get it wrong, you need to apologize to Mr. Akizuki. Of course! But I'm going to get it right, so there won't be any apologies. Hmm. <laughs> I'm ready! Mr. Noda, you make about 100 million yen. And the poor farmer over there? 
He's lucky if he makes 4 million yen a year. Oh, too bad. You got it wrong. What? <laughs> what about you, Saori? How much do you think he makes? I'm sorry if I am completely wrong, but I think you both have a similar income. No way! Mr. Noda and the farmer can't be the same! The watch you have on right now, it's a limited model if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I'm surprised you know. It's a collaboration of the European brand and Japanese anime. They only made a hundred of them, so it's extremely rare. I came across it when I was preparing myself to talk to a customer who loves anime. I've been a big fan ever since I was little. You must have studied hard. Well, I don't feel comfortable being unprepared for anything. <laughs> well, Saori got the answer right. Marin, you promised me you would apologize to Mr. Akizuki. Oh, um, uh, I don't need a... Ugh, fine! I'll apologize! I am sorry for hurting your feelings. You will be leaving our table. I'm going to have to tell everybody what happened here with you. Your actions were just unacceptable. Jeez! Uh, uh, huh? After that, we spent a nice evening together, talking about work and hobbies and stuff like that. University? That's right! I'm saving up money right now to go to university. What do you want to study? Biology. I have a dream. I want to discover new yeast and sell the bread I make with it. Wow! I just know there are many yeast species out there and are suitable for making bread. I want to be the one to find them. <laughs> Sorry, you are very unique. <laughs> Coming from the guy who wanted to grow weird vegetables to sell to the world. Uh, hey! <laughs> I guess you and I have a lot in common. Sorry is beautiful and easy to talk to. I bet she's a popular hostess. Our conversation lasted until midnight. I didn't want to, but it was time to leave the bar. I've caused a lot of trouble tonight. Please, let me pay for this one. It wasn't your fault, but okay. If you promise me, you'll let me pay next time. Thanks! I'm looking forward to doing business with you. Hey! Your credit card! Luck? Oh... Um, it comes with a lot of benefits, that's why I use it. Why? Are you going to pick on me again? Mr. Akizuki! I knew you were different the moment you stepped into this room! I'll give you my card! How about you give me a call sometime? Uh... Well, I think I'm going to say no, but thanks for the suggestion. Um, I was hoping to get your card, if that's okay. Uh, oh my, uh, really? So, uh, would it be okay if I ask you out for dinner sometime? Of course, I would love to hear more about your vegetables. <laughs> Great, you can teach me more about yeast. Mr. Onoda agreed to sign an exclusive contract with me, and I started to come to Tokyo more often. I heard Marin got fired from the hostess bar. It was because she kept picking fights and making rude comments about customers. I hope she will learn to control her actions someday. Mr. Akizuki, thanks for meeting me. Recently, I have added another dream to my list. Sorry, you look great today, as always. The first is to get many more people to enjoy the vegetables I grow. The second one is to get many people to enjoy the bread Saori will make with the yeast she discovers in the future. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.